Hi Ashley, um, right, okay, I'm gonna try and do this problem that you've got. So I'm just gonna quickly do a cylinder 3D. So I'm gonna drag a cylinder out like this and turn on the polyframes. Now I must remember, of course, to, I can see you've got two divisions on your side. So I'm gonna go down to initialize and take this, um, oh, I don't need that. Let's put that back on 32. And we need to bring this down to something, I think you're going to go six, something like that. And then at this stage, I need to make this a poly mesh 3D. Okay, so I'm going to make that a poly mesh 3D. There we go. And now I just need poly groups for the sides. So I'm going to be using the poly groups. You can, of course, mask across the top and then press Control W, that'll make it a poly group. Like that, let me just change it to a better material. Um, or of course you can go in and you can group by normals, which will also give you, it's basically the surface direction. Okay, so you're having a problem unwrapping this, so let's go and do an unwrap on it. I've got no subdivision levels on this piece. I'm going to go to Z plugins, I'm going to go to UV master, and I'm going to click by poly group and symmetry is turned on there. And I'm just going to click unwrap. Now I'm going to go back into this and go to flatten to check my UVs. There they are. Something similar to what you've got. So um, we, you mask these out. I'm guessing from the video, I haven't looked at the bit, but you're masking these out and using the gizmo to straighten these bits up like this maybe go to this side mask invert center this mask it up and then what you're telling me that when you go back in to actually unflatten it it doesn't flatten out so i'm just going to come through here quickly and just do a couple of these don't need to do them all don't need to do them all okay and we'll do that side as well and straighten that up okay i just need to take this poly group up here so i'm going to press the control just move it up here control and move it up here and then i just need to straighten these top sections down so let me straighten them up so everything's nice and straight and do it there as well Oop. into that spring down and do these middle ones invert center this straight center this straight like that that's fine there's one here it's a little bit off so I'll just invert that and straighten it and that one there's a little bit off as well so you can go through all of these and straighten them using those scales there so i'm going to say that's done okay so you are having a problem now i'm going to go back into draw mode i'm making sure that it's all unmasked so control drag make sure it's all unmasked go to the plugin and just go to unflatten and straight away we've got this piece back so i don't know what this problem is that you're having do make sure that you make it a poly mesh 3d okay that's really important um so i don't know what you're doing wrong to um, not be able to unflatten because I can go into this now and I can just keep going to unflatten or oh, sorry flatten so I can flatten it again yeah I can do whatever I like and turn it and go back to unflatten and bang it's back and now that allows me to put a texture around this piece no problem so i don't know what you're having problems with i can prove that i can do that so i can um just go into surface noise and choose one of these let me just choose something like um let me use the noise plugin to do this um choose something like scales okay i'm just gonna zoom out a little bit here change this to uv and bring these plugins down i'm going to take this mix to zero and i'm going to bring this strength up and it's perfect so i can bring this down like that make those scales click ok and you can see they've been applied to the mesh perfectly 
according to the UVs. Of course, the seam is here, so you've got that misfit there. But other than that, it's perfectly UV'd all the way over. So I don't know how how you're getting this, but I've just followed these follow these steps through. Make sure you're following really closely to what I'm saying to you. Um, I do notice you've got control painting on when you're doing this. Um, I really don't think you need to put that on um, because not with something as simple as a cylinder, you just don't need to put that on. Okay, guy. So um, now hopefully that's solved an issue, or you can look at that and go, yeah, oh, I'm doing that wrong. Um, so hopefully that's helped you. All right, mate. Cheers. Bye.